Kazana National is selling Prince Court Medical Centre to IHH Healthcare for 1.02 billion ringgit cash. Kazana acquired the private medical centre last year. Given the recent change in its mandate, Kazana decided to sell Prince Court to its healthcare platform IHH instead. Kazana MD Datuk Shahril Ritza Ritzwan says the deal will solidify IHH's position as a leading Malaysian healthcare operator. Kazana holds a substantial 26% stake in IHH. Meanwhile, IHH CEO designate Dr. Kelvin Law says this was a rare opportunity to buy an attractive and accretive asset in KL's Golden Triangle. The group expects Prince Court's strong performance to contribute positively to future earnings and cash flows. The transaction is to be completed in the first quarter of 2020. Real estate developer Dato Tan Eng Bun has been fined 1.5 million ringgit after unexpectedly pleading guilty to an alternative charge of abetting then Federal Territories Minister Tengku Adnan Tengku Manso in receiving a 1 million ringgit bribe. He needs to make the payment tomorrow. The ex-chairman of Paragon Globe was initially charged with bribing the former AMNO Secretary General six years ago. It was allegedly as a reward for Kunan for approving an application by Nucleus Properties, now known as Paragon City Development, to increase the plot ratio relating to the development of a plot of land along Jalan Samara in Kuala Lumpur. As for Kunan, who is accused of receiving the bribe, he also has an alternative charge of receiving the monies without anything in return, knowing that he had official dealings with Nucleus Properties at the time. A key witness in the 1MDB Tenor trial insisted that Trunganu Investment Authority was Dato Sri Najib Razak's baby. Najib's former aide, Dato Amhari Effendi Nazaruddin, told the court today that the Pekan MP had been planning to develop a state investment fund for when he finally assumed office. However, Amhari admitted that he had no clue as to whose idea it was to set up TIA. When Najib's lawyer, Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, suggested that TIA was in fact the project of then Yang Dipton Agong, Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin. On Lo Tik Joe's involvement in the 1MDB precursor, Amhari said the Penangites' role was to mechanise the idea of TIA in order to facilitate its implementation. However, he still could not tell whose interest Lo was representing, nor could he recall as to whether Lo played a role in recommending which banks to help TIA with its fundraising exercise. M Investment Bank has downgraded Air Asia Group to sell from hold and cut its fair value estimate on the stock to one ringgit forty-five cent from two ringgit seven cent. This was after it cut its earnings forecast for the carrier by between 29% and 40% for the three financial years through 2021. The research house says this is to reflect its high aircraft maintenance provisions under the lease model. It also took into account higher jet fuel price assumptions. This follows the surge in crude oil prices after the attack on Saudi Arabia's oil facilities over the weekend. The research house reduced its net profit forecast for AirAsia by 40% for FY19, 30% for FY20 and 29% for FY21. AirAsia ended the day 1.1% lower at one ringgit 79 Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad says Putrajaya has yet to decide on how to help Malaysia Airlines. In an interview with the BFM 89.9 radio station, Mahade said the government is still studying all the different measures, pointing out that while it has thrown money and cut jobs in a bid to stem the bleeding, the ratio between the carrier's personnel and its activities remain unchanged. And while potential buyers have reportedly been circling it, Mahade said the issue is that some quarters still believe that the airline should be owned entirely by Malaysians when there is no Malaysian investor strong enough to take it up. Citing a source, The Edge reported over the weekend that Japan Airlines could be a contender for a stake in Malaysia Airlines and that high-level talks have already taken place due to the close ties between Tokyo and Putrajaya.